Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is RPT, and welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Player Career Mode here on the channel. In today's episode, SCC Play opens up at home versus South Carolina, who's ranked number eight in the nation. So we're going to have a very tough game, a very tough start to our freshman season for Carl Weezer. As in week number one, we had to travel to Death Valley to take on the number, I think, nine Clemson Tigers at the time. And spoiler alert, if you missed last episode, you missed a good one. Here's your chance to click off the video because if you missed last episode, <laughs> this happened. Range, can we do it, boys? Can Carl cook up the miracle? B, no! No, 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 please! Dog, please, please, please! No way! Let's go! Let's go! So that was extremely wild, but what a start to the series for the college portion. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that, and hopefully you also enjoyed today's episode. If you guys do, make sure to drop a big thumbs up. Let's see if once again we can smash 2,000 likes on today's episode. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new, and turn on the notification bell if you haven't. Also, guys, if you have yet to hear about my Hang In There merch, it's a brand that I did start to raise awareness for mental health. And if you want to support the cause, link to the merchandise, top description box below. Every single dollar earned from the shirt sales is going directly to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. The goal is to reach 100 shirt sales. I'm not going to tell you what number we're at now, so go support that by buying a shirt. Description box below. If anything, you can go over to my Twitter account, retweet the tweet to spread the awareness. It is my pinned tweet. Uh, and also, I know this is a long intro, but a lot of stuff to talk about. These videos are long as it is. I am going to be doing a Q&A on the channel very, very soon. To be a part of that, all you have to do is go over to my Twitter account and tweet at me with the hashtag AskRBT. Tweet me your question, and you'll have a chance to be in the Q&A. Also, you have a good chance to be a part of that as well as I'm going to take some suggestions from Instagram or some questions from Instagram. All you have to do is go to my latest post on Instagram. Go to the comments of that picture and also type in the hashtag AskRBT and ask me your question to have a chance to be featured in that Q&A. Now, a lot of talking finally over with. Long intro RBT done. I did play the practice for this week already, so at the end of this game, we probably will do some skill upgrades. Hopefully, I'm not sure how many points we're going to get from our game, but I want to try to save up for 10,000 to get a plus 3 or overall, which will almost bring us to a 90 overall. And also, you guys did say in the comments last video, for the most part, you guys want me just to show you the ranked game. So that's probably what we're going to do unless we play like a big rivalry game and it's not like it's not a ranked game. So that's how we're going to go about the series thus far. And I'll show you the highlights or show you like the stats from the other games that we play. But anyways, enough talking. Let's jump into the game against number 8 South Carolina. And hopefully it's an easier win than last episode. So boys, we are getting the ball first. Our first game at home hopefully it's a good one run the ball with our offensive lineman for a three yard rush if you don't know what i mean when i say that just don't worry about it if you're not a georgia fan hopefully it doesn't affect your life but anyways we are ranked number three which is pretty cool hopefully we can get ranked that was almost a bad i can't be having that i didn't have a bad pass like that till late in the game last episode and we have one in our first pass attempt I gotta stop talking and concentrate. Third down and seven. That's bad. RB's open though. Need him to, to drag his feet. Mark Webb, actually in college, you only need one foot inbounds. Mark Webb, being the goat that he is, drag one foot inbounds to keep the chains moving. I do need to utilize the reaction feature a little bit more. I kind of just keep forgetting about it. It's just something I'm not really used to, being used to like Madden and stuff. Why? Down the field, Carl's release is not really fast that's something i also gotta get used to ulrich jones with the tackle he's probably actually like the kicker for for south carolina but anyways and also that was my bad last episode when i referred to the clemson bulldogs at the beginning <laughs> that was uh, my bad that was an honest mistake but uh, i'm glad you guys thought that was funny when I, that was a complete mistake. But anyways, third down and 13. Can we pick up another third down along on this drive? We're going to scramble with Carl. Carl with his speed showing off. Going to slide. First down and 10. Carl Weezer with his legs being the great llama man that he is. Down to the 38-yard line. 
I am gonna try, like I said last episode, gonna try to mix in the runs a little bit because I feel like it'd be not like, I mean, obviously this series is around gosh dang Carl Weezer, so it's not meant to be the most realistic thing in the world, but I mean, it would just be kind of stale if we threw the ball every single time. The only reason I didn't throw the ball or I didn't run the ball in high school was because it was a freaking triple option and that just didn't work with my brain. And I was also, hey, Elijah Holyfield with a nine yard rush. I respect it. If we can uh, keep that happening, I mean, I wouldn't mind running the ball every gosh dang play. Holyfield in the game again? This man's a boxer. He's going to run the ball in that time. The right tackle decided to take a playoff, so it's being a second down and 10. Speed option. First time my coach has called this. We do have extra plays we can use, but I'm, I might just save them in case we need them later. Uh, let's see. Uh-oh. Yeah, that, that had no, that had no chance of happening. The guy contained and that was just bad. I don't like, nah. Not calling a screen pass in third and 11 because that's too risky. We are, I don't know though. Our kicker's bad. So I was about to say well, at least we're in field goal range, but at the same time, oh, I don't think we really are. B's open. That's a strike. That's Walker. 20 yards. DeAndre Walker, I think his first reception of the season. 20 yards. First and goal for Georgia. Things are looking pretty good. They look good though early on against Clemson. So we can't <laughs> we can't get too cocky. But let's just play smart. Oh, this guy's a fast man. Throw the ball. Call! Oh, throw the ball away. Carl, we can't be having that. Dog, Carl, bad. Bad Carl. Man, that's going to be hard. That's going to be extremely hard to get used to. His release is slow, and you can't really throw the ball away that fast. Can we auto? Why can we not audible to full verticals? Uh, let me. S this is Carl's doing some crazy stuff. I do, I do not want to call this play specifically. On second down and goal. <laughs> Well, I mean, that was just, that was just not good. This could be, Carl's throwing the ball out of the end zone now into the bushes, into the hedges, because at Georgia, that's the saying, in between the hedges. That's what they call the field at Georgia. But anyways, that was a bad throw from Carl. This has been a bad sequence of two plays. So let's see if Carl can make it up right here on this play. I couldn't audible to a four vertical route, so I don't know what was going on there. But anyways, let's just try to make up for it. B, back at the end zone. This could be a touchdown, please. Carl Weezer is a clutch man on third and goal from the 27 yard line. Carl Weezer hooks up with his receiver to give the Georgia Bulldogs a 7 to nothing lead. 14 plays, 72 yards. Their defense continues to play stout. And let's see if we can take a two possession lead in this game. Unlike we did in the Clemson game, I gotta sneeze, but gotta stay positive and strong. With Justin Schaffer. Being a good guy, four yards, decent play, as we will bring things into the second quarter. I mean, a pretty freaking positive first quarter, I must say, as we do take a 7 nothing lead. Some sketchy plays here early on from Carl, but at the end of the day, we scored a touchdown and he did the gosh dang thing. So into the second, see if we can make it two consecutive touchdowns on two consecutive drives. Oh, going to scramble. Dumped the ball up to the running back. He ran backwards, unfortunately. Lost the yard. That's fantastic. And I know a lot of people got mad at me last episode for scrambling a lot. I'm sorry. It's just a habit. If you don't like it, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I got him scrambling again. A's open. Can we make the throw? Carl, good throw. Blazevich. Jeb. I love the name Jeb. I'm going to name my kid Jeb. That's, that's like, if... Okay, so if I had the option to name my kid Daryl or Jeb, Jeb every day of the week. Once again, I don't mean to offend people, but if your name's Daryl, I apologize <laughs> what your parents named you. <laughs> so anyways, scrambling again, just going to throw the ball away, be smart, live to play another down. Second down and 10. Uh, we're around midfield. I got to I gotta learn when it's like the most useful to use my extra plays because at the same time, 20 is a lot. But I want to save them for, like, circumstances that we actually need to 100% change the plays. That's one thing I don't miss from NCAA football. The, uh, I'll, like, not like they they do any, like, have added any detail to the players on the sideline in Madden, really. But it's it's pretty gosh dang bad if you look on the sideline and look at the players just standing there. Like, they look like cartoons. Well, not cartoons. Look like, look like, uh, what's the right thing I'm looking for? A scarecrow. They all look like separate scarecrows. 
on the sideline. But hey, a screen pass actually got us a first down. Justin Schaffer doing the thing. But now Elijah Holyfield, the boxer's son in the game, picks up about three. Not bad at all. And the coach, I guess, is wanting to continue to run the football. And maybe eventually, I mean, we're getting some decent plays on the ground. Like, slowly but surely getting like three yards per carry. But hey, I was about to say, maybe eventually we'll break a big run. 11 yards, I'll take it. Don't have to do too much. Then just press the button A. For some people, including me, that, that, that I guess that can be difficult. But play action pass this time around. I'm rolling out again because I'm a dumb man. Going to dump this off to RB. That's Ridley. <laughs> Uh, Riley Ridley. If you're a Georgia fan, <laughs> you, you know why I'm laughing. If you don't know why I'm laughing, just don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And also, <laughs> something that was also brought up in the comments, my voice just cracked, but let's just disregard that too and pretend it didn't happen. Something else that was brought up in the comments of last episode is what happened. That was a touchdown, but Carl hit our offensive lineman's head. You wanted to know what happened to Finn Wynn. So Finn Nguyen, he uh, he got hit by an asteroid and died. So unfortunately, he's not going to be in the rest of the series. If you want to know the real thing that happened to him, uh, you can't edit rosters. We actually kicked a field goal that time, and South Carolina scored. Dog, why am I not in the game? Why was I not in the game for a long time? So it was only a three-point game now, but why did not? Did I get hurt? I'm so confused, but if, you, if you're curious to why he's actually not in the game, the plan was to keep the series flowing was, at the end of the day, put him on some team, either a team in the conference or on our team, edit him as a wide receiver and just have him in the series. But unfortunately, it's dumb and you can't edit players' names or their appearance once you're in the road to glory. So that was a fail on my part. And let's just continue the storyline of the series and say that Finn win. Got hit by an asteroid and died. So let's get some rips in the comment section of today's video for Thin Win. Now with that said, let's concentrate because it's been a bad sequence of events. RB, that's Blazevich continuing the goatness that he displays at all times and picks up another first down. It's funny, like looking back, I mean this game was made five years ago. Some of the plays are the exact same plays that you see Rain and Madden. Tight end angle is a play you see a lot in Madden because it's just an OP play. But it was obviously OP back in NCAA football as well. I mean, I know plays only evolve so much, but it's just still weird looking at such an old game and you see the same plays over and over again. But let's just continue. Carl Weech is not having a bad game. Been sacked a couple times, but no picks, no turnovers. If we can complete this game turnover free, that will be the first time in his career, high school or college, he completed the game without turning the ball over. And if he can do that against... A conference foe and conference rival in South Carolina who's ranked number 8 in the country and one of the best defenses in the country. That will be pretty gosh dang impressive for a freshman who's just in his second career game as a person, as a man. So B, uh oh, dog, so many receivers got stuck to like the corners by like glue, like holographic glue stuck to them and that made that play almost not good. It almost like resulted in a sack which is not what you want when you're trying to win football games so third down and seven we need to pick this up i'm scrambling again probably dumb it's gonna be smart take the yardage pick up the first down because you never know what happens in football games when the ai tries to catch the ball and picks up the first down and sometimes it's running out of bounds sometimes they run backwards so i had to do the smart thing had to do the for sure thing run the ball with carl because carl likes running the ball going back to my old ways boys four verticals I'm feeling a big play. I'm feeling a big play right here. And that just, that wasn't what I was, like, it, that wasn't what I was feeling. I kind of wanted to throw it to B because I thought it was going to be open, but he wasn't in the screen, so I had no idea. He was open, but by the time I threw the ball, that's when he was in the screen. But anyways, second down and 10. This commentary, I feel like it's been really weird. I feel like I'm in a really strange mood. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. Mark with a catch. Second reception for 30 yards. Not a bad game from Mark. I want to I want to score a touchdown because a touchdown means we're up by more than a touchdown. You feel me? And that means we probably win the game with how well our defense has been playing. That's not like going forward towards the end zone in our quest to score a touchdown. That's going backwards. That's not good. 3.7 yards per carry. I don't like it, Justin. Justin, 
Gotta do better. Gotta do better. Second and 13. It's the move here. Do <laughs> Call the... Ooh, that was almost bad. That was almost so bad. Third down and 13. I, I have an excuse for running four verticals because the coach called it. So here we go, my dudes. Can we pick it up and not have to settle for the field goal? A's wide open. A's open. That's Blazevich. Blazevich. I got a burp. The burp messed up the commentary. But let's just roll with it. 22 yards. First down and goal to the five yard line my coach keeps wanting us to run the football but i do, i just don't trust our guys to run the ball as you saw the last couple times we ran it just isn't really you know working too well carl if we have to do it ourselves we can do it carl come on carl carl's oh my gosh dog carl weezer just made that cornerback from south carolina his son he just ran right over the man <laughs> that's actually hilarious. That is, the, I think, that's like the second best play of this series thus far. But, hey, South Carolina sticking in this ball game, man. Only down by three. We can't slip up. I mean, we've scored every drive. We haven't had a drive we've scored. just not a touchdown every time. But our defense kind of letting us down at the same time. I mean, 14 points isn't a lot. But still, at the same time, I want to just win this game comfortably for the first time ever. DeAndre Walker with a first down. The coach... Interestingly enough, is not calling many running plays when we should be trying to chew a little bit of clock. But let's just let's just do the dang thing, I guess. At this point, RB open. That's Webb again. Webb with like his fourth catch of that game. He's doing some good things this game. One thing I do like about how things are going, we've actually had a pretty balanced offense. To be fair, we've ran the ball like 21 times at this play and thrown it like 25. So it's been pretty balanced. I like it. I like being balanced. Justin Schaffer with another first down. So we have three more plays to choose some clock. So might not... I mean, at least it's a pretty close game. You guys would probably like close games more than blowouts, or vice versa. But let's just continue and just, just hopefully just continue this lead as we're going to throw another pass to Wims. Javon Wims, 11 yards, moving the ball, plush territory. He has 86 yards in the game. Pretty solid. Pretty gosh dang solid. Somebody was absolutely, like... Eating Carl Weezer's like flaming hot Cheetos on that play, that should have been a penalty of some sort. He didn't have the ball and he was getting tackled. So first and ten. Post routes open. Need a good throw. Hey. Oh, E. That was almost a good play. Deflection. Nice play from the cornerback, but at the same time, went right to my receiver. But unfortunately, he dropped it. Could have got lucky. Could have been worse, I suppose. So second down and ten. Pick up some yards right here. Getting rushed by a lot of a lot of fast men. X! Carl, that's bad. We gotta have a talk. <laughs> Carl was throwing that to the Gamecock. He was throwing that to the chicken on the sidelines. Uh, yeah, that wasn't good. Screen pass. I don't know if I like it. We'll roll with it. We'll trust our coach. They blitz. This could be big. Justin, we're doing one move. We need one move. Justin, that's so close. Our coach better. He better go for this. I'm mad. I am so mad. We've literally only not scored on one drive in this ball game, and now we're down. It's gonna take another miracle to win. Our defense did not play. like the coach. That actually makes me so mad. We could have got a yard, and now it's gonna take another miracle from Carl Weezer. My gosh, my gosh. X is wide open. Carl, please come back to the ball. Oh, I gotta stop scrambling, man. That's my fault. I need a new controller. I need a new controller. I gotta get a P.O. box, and I'll probably get a thousand Xbox 360 controllers sent to me. All right, boys. After all this, we've been winning the whole game, except with the last two minutes. Oh, man, can we just ever win a game? Just I gotta scramble again, man. Carl, this is bad. I'm crisscross applesauce, and I'm concerned. Our coach calls vertical once again. A minute left to go. At least we have all three timeouts. Oh, gosh. This is... I, I, we might actually lose. A's open. Got the throw off. Blaze, bitch, with what a gosh dang catch. What a catch. Lays out for the first down. Down to about midfield, man. We have got to score a touchdown, man. He keeps running verticals. Hopefully, eventually, somebody gets open down the sideline. Is this going to be it? Yes, it's it. No. The, no, man. Not like this. Not like that. That's no, man. I'm so upset. 
I am actually, man, I am so upset. We have a guy wide open, and Carl gets hit. We need a big play from our defense. We lose. We lose. We literally don't score like one drive. Oh, that hurts. That actually hurts so much. I'm upset. I'm so upset. I'm about I'm about to shed tears. So that sucks. I guess we're going to advance to the bye week and we'll see where we fall in the rankings. I mean, we're not out of a national championship by any stretch of the imagination. We might not drop that far because South Carolina was ranked number 8. We drop all the way to number 10. I'm a sad, sad, sad man. This is actually a nice boost. I wasn't going to upgrade, but I saw that and I chose it. We're up to an 87 overall, but I'm just, I'm sad that we lost. If we can look at the top 25 poll, see where South Carolina went up to. They only went up to six. This is your current top five in, or top 25, Northern Illinois is our ranked team. That's funny. Wonder by chance if we're in the Heisman watch. Who is in the current Heisman watch? Bradley Bozeman. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm glad the, the actual rosters worked. Reggie Bonafon. That's definitely Lamar Jackson. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Bradley Bozeman's an offensive lineman, so let's just disregard that. But anyways... That's a salty ending to the episode, but hopefully you still enjoy it. And if you did, make sure to drop a big thumbs up for another episode coming out really, really soon. Be sure, as always, to check out the Hank in their merch top description box below. Go buy some shirts to support a great cause. Also, make sure to have a chance to be featured in my upcoming Q&A by tweeting at me and commenting on my Instagram picture using the hashtag AskRBT. But with that said, guys, that is going to do it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on the notification bell if you haven't. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. God bless. And peace.